plate unlocked the fake Cincinnati Nove tea. Okay. Is there such a thing as too many logos? Apparently not. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here it is. It's in the wee hours of a Friday morning. When I probably should be getting ready for work, but I'm just too excited because there are sales going on. And while I try to contain my excitement so I don't wake up the rest of the house, I mean, we're talking it's 5 o'clock in the morning. And um, there's just a couple things going on here. I mean, I finally achieved. 20 million dollars and that number is about to drop significantly because some of the sales that I have been waiting for months to happen are in fact happening right now and no I'm not going to rush this one out to, to publication it's just going to go into the normal I wonder why you get a whole bunch of RP when you wake up in the morning that's that's an interesting thing. I never never thought about that before. But these are things that probably no one should really be getting. I mean, they're not terribly useful. The they're just things that I want. So you know, and there's there's enough. If you're if you're playing, how you doing? I'm doing great. The uh, if you're playing. GTM on you already know what the what the sales are. I'm not gonna be giving you too much of a heads up there. I don't know. Should I rush this one out? It's too much of a spoiler for all the other stuff that all the other CEO in pajamas videos that I'm I'm working on right now. This will be, you know by the time I get those edited and voiced over, yeah, right, we're gonna keep this in the, the normal flow of things. But I do want to uh, I do want to share the experience with you here of what we're doing. As we look out over Los Santos. Now, the first really odd thing that I've been really waiting to get is not this. That's a thought, but no. I, I really don't know what the use for that is just yet. I might get it. Maybe. I really don't know. I'm still trying to think what the heck the use for the festival bus is. And it's only, it's only a... Well, it's actually pretty significant savings there. But this, the dune, which actually there, there is, you know, a price difference here. That's the more expensive livery here. That's the the Fukuru livery is for whatever reason more expensive. You can't pick a color. Will boil? Fukuru. Which one? Because when, once you get one, that's all. You, you can't change it. You can't do anything with it. I guess that has the more sweeping colors. It's the more expensive one. Let's see. How does this read? It's probably never occurred to you to enter an off-road marathon in 20,000 pounds of turbocharged box truck. But now you know everything you need. But now you know everything you need to. It's clearly a fantastic idea. Trust your instincts. Rockstar needs to fix this. They absolutely need to fix the fact that this is... There's no reason, even size-wise, I think there's no reason this can't be in a garage somewhere on the at least make it so you can park in a facility or something like that. You know, I mean, there's, there's just, it should be modifiable. I mean, there's no, there should be, a, this should be a personal vehicle. It should be able to be used in races. It's a racing truck that came out all the way back with cutting stunts. You can't race it. I'm buying it anyway. Hooray. And sadly, there goes my $20 million. Had 20 for just a little bit. We'll get back there. Now, the other thing, and this is really kind of the bigger thing. I mean that in a very literal way. Is yachts. 
Yachts are on sale. It's Yahtzee time, folks. We're finally going to join the, the the elite here. I wonder what percentage of people have yachts. I don't think it's like the one percent. Yeah, these were a thing. Forty percent off. Now I know what you're thinking. The best deal would be the Aquarius because you're saving the most amount of money. This one, obviously, they really push it towards the Aquarius. Orion says, I'd like to buy a gigantic super yacht, but the budget option will be fine, said no one ever. Like, they're, they're, they're really telling you not to buy this one. Or, but the one to get, if you're going to buy the Aquarius, but the regulators shut down your price gouging scheme, this will probably be okay. No, 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 no. The Pisces. This is the one to get. And the reason I know it's the one to get is I watch Bruffy1322, and he reviewed... The yachts in terms of speed. Now, the yacht doesn't actually have like a speed like itself. Like when you set where you want to go, you paid twenty-five thousand dollars and it goes there. But the stuff you get with it, the helicopters, the boats, this boat has much better gear with it. I mean, the the Aquarius has more. You get two more jet skis with the Aquarius. It's four instead of two. But this one. You get the Swift Deluxe versus the Super Velito. That's a big deal. So you get a faster helicopter. The boat is the speed, the, the speeder versus the Toro. Much faster. Bruffy man, keep doing the awesome things that you keep doing. I'll have a, I'll put a link in the description to that video. You can see exactly how much the what the differences are. But it has to be the Pisces. So now let's see. Choose your fittings. Chrome fittings? Gold or chrome fittings? How can we not go for the gold fittings? If we're going to get silly, let's get silly. And look at this. That's 300000 off right there. Everything's 40% off. So going gold fittings. Choose your lighting. Now, if I want to go kind of base color mode... First of all, I think, you know, presidential is fine, but standards are in shape, but vivacious. There you go. See, I mean, that's, that's fine. I think we definitely want to go vivacious. And one thing I learned from Scott Adams, I'm, I'm not even being a, a Bruffy fanboy here, is that in his testing for his website, which is kind of an odd thing, because he doesn't use a lot of orange now that I think about it, but people are more likely to click on orange things, and orange grabs their attention. So this will probably be the most effective for thumbnails. Like green looks cool, but it's it's you know it's people it's not a clicky kind of thing. Blue it might be you know more in, in tune with you know base crew colors and stuff like that, but historically when it comes to ships, you know first of all we'll look at pink. No, not. Pink looks interesting and cool too, but we're going to go with orange. Historically, the, the original large ship of the Basin System Services crew, back in Freelancer, was a ship called the Rook, and it was a, a, a Bretonian battleship. And if you know anything about them, they always look deeply orange because of the lighting of the Bretonian areas where we normally drove it around. By the way, shout out to Mr. Bonkers, who was able to grind the cash for that. I, I don't think I put a dollar into that. It was just, he, you know, he was right there on par with the professional, because that was $500 million that he purchased that thing. He still have it. It doesn't look as orange anymore, but it's, cause it's stuck out in Alaska, and not the good Alaska. It's, um, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. We have to get base rolling again over on that game probably would help if I wasn't always trying to save up money for sales on GTA Online. But at any rate, this ship is going to be the GTA edition of that ship. So we're going to go with Vivacious Gold. I guess it's not orange. It's, we got gold and gold. So it's, that's 360000 Color scheme. I want to do something reasonably dark. So we got black... With, with the red stripe. You know, I am the Black Knight. I mean, this is a thing. 
what would go well here? I think it's got to be either this one with the red striping kind of going or this one. I'm kind of thinking the gold, the command one, might go better. 381,000 versus 297,000. I mean, we are still on something of a budget here. What do I think? What do I think? This one with all of the the gold lighting or do we want to go darker? That looks kind of like a blue. Like a dark navy. Is it black or navy? It's so hard to tell. Yeah, let's go with that one. What the heck? It's it's the more vivid colors. Stealth ship black. There you go. Let's. We have color schemes so to perfectly match your delusions of grandeur. Choose your flag. That's a done deal. Enter your name. Not galaxy. What the heck happened? No, 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 no. What the heck? What what happened here? What glitched out? We're completely screwed here. What happened? Ah, fine. Let's go through it again. Apparently, hitting the back is a back button. I, I thought you had to. How do you use the back key then? We're going for the Pisces. Next, gold fittings. Next, vivacious. Next, stealth ship. Looking cool with the red, the black, and the gold. Next. Enter name. Do I have to click on it? Oh, here we go. There we go. That was the name of our battleship. Should I call it the... Uh, the base ship? The BS Rook? <laughs> the other one was the BSS Rook. The base spaceship Rook. Sailing ships? A BS... The BSY, the base super yacht. Rook. The BSY Rook. The base super yacht Rook. There we have it. BSY Rook with an American flag. If I want to reach back to um to to my whole uh you know freelancer uh, roots, I should probably put like an Australian flag here, but I think we're going to uh, we're going to stick with the Americans just because, well, that's where I live and have citizenship and things like that. Certainly, if any of my Aussie friends get theirs, they'll have the flag on theirs, and then we'll just you know we are all always very a multinational crew, so let's do that. So there we are, the the base super yacht rook, which it which it does you know separate from the BSS rook, which is a spaceship. So we'll go that. Bang. Boopity, boopity. Total price, $5 million. Now, the normal price for this boat is $7 million with no add-ons. So we do the buy now and say goodbye to more money. Purchase pending. New contact, Captain. Purchase complete. Thank you for completing your DocTees. Dropping at DocTees.com. Hope you will be satisfied with your purchase. We are currently arranging transportation of your watercraft. We'll contact you to confirm delivery. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff going on here. Do we want a tug? Part of finance and family. Which, part of the heist update. I'm also trying to get my heist uh, achievement. But I already have a dinghy. I think I already have a dinghy. Speeder, we just got that. So the speeder was, you know, three hundred twenty-five thousand. We've got one of those. No other height. There's nothing really else here. The sun, you know, all this is redundant with the uh, with when you own a speeder. See, the Toro is more expensive, 
but it's slow. I think we already have a Kraken. So we'll get out of here. Do we want the tug? The tug is really an interesting thing. It is on sale. What use would I have for the tug? I don't know, maybe making some kind of videos. The thrill of seafaring adventure is only a down payment away. You set sail with a fair wind and a hull brimming with illegal immigrants. <laughs> this is terrible. Hours later, the sea spray and astonishing poor top speed have brought you to a newfound sense of, of inner peace. Before long, you cruise past the port authorities as you're turning the barrel. This is the life. I, it, they are terrible to drive. Terrible. No, I think we're, I think we're going to avoid that. Even at this wonderful price, there's better ways I could spend $800,000. Even though the theme of this is throwing bad money after good. That is definitely a thing. We've got modders in the... I, can't, I popped into... Uh, Okay, Dune is configured, and it's, oh, it's snowing. I just said they're just modding around. Well, let's take advantage of that. You're now the owner of a personal yacht. You can be reached by sea or air and can be used as a floating apartment. Okay, let's, um, let's, office garage one. Let's take something innocuous. We're zipping around in the snow here to get to our dune, which will then drive to the boat, I guess. Unless we could call the captain and have it moved. We just call the captain and have it moved out. What happens when we call the captain? Oh, captain, my captain. Captain! This is your captain, Brendan. Okay, request boat or request helicopter. Well, I guess we could request the helicopter. I mean, you have to be outside to do that. I wonder if we, if we request the helicopter, where will we'll it We'll send it? a chopper to the collection point. Let's see where that's going. We are first try with the all new super really good. Let's take the. We'll pull the we'll pull the Kuntash out in the snow. That'll be great. So where is my helicopter? In the snow. It's not real far from the boat. They're pretty lazy here. It's not far though. I was going to request the dune. And we may still do that. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have for knocking around in the snow in the dune. But really, are you are you that excited for that? I mean, the dune is really just a... Again, actually, another really roughy 1322 oriented purpose because there's a whole meme on that channel that everything's better with the dune. Or I started using custom races where you can actually race the thing. Well, sorry, you got to get on that. Make it so, you know, the rest of us in this world, without use of, use of, you know, the editor, can race a dune. I forgot I still had the Spy Hunter play on this from when I set it up on my, uh... I'm gonna watch up on my Stromberg. Ooh. But that kind of works. I think. I think if you watch the, uh, I guess we'll have to park in here. If if you watch it, the uh, the intro to the PlayStation version of Spy Hunter, the one where they redid it as a three dimensional, really cool game, then there's, they do reference it being a Quintosh, even though it really wasn't. All right, so here we have our Swift Deluxe in the livery of the boat. That's an interesting thing. I did not know that, that was going to happen. Clack. Let's see. How's it looking here? 
Why am I not changing the viewpoint? <coughs> there we go. Very luxurious. Ooh. Okay, let's see if we can land this on the boat. Look at it out there. Glowing in the snow. This will appear in the ocean surrounding Los Santos and Blaine County whenever you are in free mode. Okay, does it give me the automatic landing options? Or do you have to be good? Looking like you, you gotta be good. Yeah. Manual landing. That wasn't very good. Let's go on. Let's, let's, this is gonna take some getting used to, obviously. Alright, so here we are with our golden... I expect it to be a little bit more orange. If I'm perfectly honest. Let's see, where do we... how do we get in? Well, there's the other landing pad. No, I'm not doing any Simeon stuff. Come on, where is that? You gotta get in here someplace. Okay, so here's a thing. Where are we going into here now? At your service. Alrighty, let's put this where I've known I've wanted it. Give me the word, and we'll get moving. Vespucci Beach. Of course, it has to be Vespucci Beach. I mean, there is another. I would, you know, ready. putting it next to um, to Bruffy Island, which would be what Polito Bay or North Chumash. I think Bruffy Island is just in between those two positions. So North Chumash, near the bunker. That's another possibility. Cruise on standby for the go ahead. That wouldn't be a bad location too, because you can, you know, if you're going to be doing, if I'm going to be doing bunker sails, which I'm still going to be doing bunker sails, that would be a more comfortable thing. You just take the helicopter right across, go to the bunker. You know, actually, it's a little like bit further from the bunker. There's the bunker, the Lago Zancudo location. This is going to close to the airport. All right, I'm getting confused with my curved thingies. Right now we're here. We've got all the time in the world. Which is not a bad location really in and of itself. It's a little bit of a drive. And actually, you know, it might be a little bit quicker to get to even than the uh, the Vespucci Beach location because you have to kinda of, here you gotta kinda of come down and go through the side roads and blah 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 to get you know. You really you kinda of need a helicopter anywho. What's the best view? Best view would be Vespucci Beach, would it not? Cruise on standby for the go ahead. Hmm. There'd be more action by Vespucci Beach, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, we'll be moving this around. Let's 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 just see how it moves. We'll do that at least once. Let's get her over to Vespucci. Then. Yes, okay, destination can. In the snow. <laughs> How fortuitous that we have a modern session. Plowing through the snow. Your yacht will be locate your last chosen destination when entering a session if available. You can't park them next to each other. And somehow, let's see, is that where I landed this? It's all nice and neat now, so that's good. Alright, before we, we wrap this up, the radio, let's try and see if we can get into the quarters. There's, I mean, I know this thing has quarters. I'm gonna do a proper tour, you know, let's... But where is... is this it? Yes, here we go. We're going into the actual 
headquarters that I've never been able to get into because I've never had anyone invite me on into their their quarters here. We're now perfectly safe. Ooh. Apples and oranges that apparently you can't eat. Let me take a look around here. It's a little inconvenient because I prefer a more open plan, but you know, there is structure of the ship. So we have multiple bedrooms full of guns. Free ammo. There's something you don't expect. Free ammo. And a shower. And a commode. That's what you need to do. You need to... Rockstar has to set it up so you can actually use the restroom for whatever reason. I wonder if that would change the rating of the game or something. I wonder why I didn't do that. More places to stay. More weapons. Yes, your, your guests will be heavily armed. If we go up here... A little bit of a living area. Television. Can now can we? Does that work? Oh, you have to sit down, maybe. If we sit down. So yeah, you can perfectly well idle this, you know, from here. Although I, I'm really trying to stop that. It seems to be exceptionally hard on the computer. Hey there. Hey there! And we have a bartender! Very cool! Let's let's get a drink. Only options whiskey, but hey, it's a good enough you know option when you're out here on the boat. Celebratory shot! I'm liking it. I think it's got style. Now, truth be told, that's pretty much all it has is style. I mean, it's 100% style. I guess we could hop in the hot tub. Badoo! Now, I just bought this, and there's a cup of something in it. Can you drink that? I have... Is that like your beer? Who's been, who's been leaving stuff on my... In my hot tub in the snow. Red Solo Cup. I've got gold bars in a red Solo Cup. I guess that just means I'm still a partying kind of dude. Or I guess the last thing we would really need to do to finish off this video, as we magically get dressed, is head up to the helicopter deck here. <laughs> Here's the view. Let's press E to lean on the rail. Okay. You can just be here, leaning on the rail. Okay, we'll stop leaning on the rail. How do you set up? Let's see. Mobile operation. Yacht services. Okay. Sound horn. That's nice. Yacht defenses off. Okay, we have them off. Friends crew, friends and crew, organization, motorcycle club, associates. Associates allows your friends, crew, and organization members through your yacht defenses. Okay, so I think associates, that's the one we want. Friends, crew, organization members. Everybody else will get shot in the face. Yacht vehicle access, everyone. We could theoretically let anybody just steal our vehicles. For right now, I'll let everybody wander around on it. Hot tub, clothing, swimwear, current, swimwear. Okay, so you can have it change the swimwear or not. I think that makes sense. And, you know, until I'm using it, I guess we'll let it be a public access kind of thing. If you want to hop on over. Well, if I'm doing something later on, I can always just turn those on and... If I'm being griefed by somebody, hop over, just turn the yacht defenses on, and then head to the yacht. I guess the, the, the smart thing would be to accept this to set all to associates. But, you know, there are people who, you know, may just want to see what a yacht's about and want to wander over, and how often am I going to be using it really? Okay. We'll do that. Let us make a phone call. 
I guess it's lifestyle management. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? You can help me with a Dune. Dune Fukuru Rally. Thank you, like, sir. Your mean? specialist vehicle is now ready for you at our nearest pickup station. Which is what? How many miles away? Let's get in the helicopter. It's LJT. <sighs> I know. You're just such a happy dude. Trust me, LJT, there is no hope. For me to do be doing anything with you here. Where where did they put that? Where is my dune? Is it this yellow one or is it? That's my car. Let's see, what does it say? Yep, that's the dune. For some reason it's yellow. Like the dunes of the sea, I guess. At least it's not too far a helicopter ride. The snow's throwing me off from it there. I was thinking I'm landing in, in the water. Alright. Helicopter seems nice. We have to really do a kind of some kind of top speed run with that at some point. But here we have one of the most pointless vehicles in the game because you can't race it. Wow, look at the uh See, we'll go through this water. Of course, it's a dune. Wee wee. And there's our boat looking shimmering and happy out on the out on the ocean. You know, I didn't notice a an option to modify. The, uh, does that exist? Like, if I go to Yacht Services. No, I'm for Yacht Services. Come on. Yacht. Let's go. Yacht Services. Yacht, yacht Access, Hot Tug. There's no modify. How would you change your yacht? If, is it a matter of once you have a yacht, you have a yacht, that's it? There's no. I feel like different lights today? It really, I think I have to look into that. I guess it's really important that you like what you're picking here. Let's see, what if I want to repaint it? Let's... Excuse my vehicle access to everyone here. Let's see. No, yeah, I, everyone. All right, so they can just if I leave this here. Where'd my helicopter go? I no longer have a helicopter? Well, gee, I guess you're getting something else. Your helicopter goes back. Alright, fine. With us. Well, you know, I could request a boat and that would be a thing, but look around here. No one's noticing me driving this 20,000... On truck. I plan to use that to do some stunting and things like that, but let us get back out to the ship. Another reason that you really don't have to worry about. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Whew! Okay, music volume off. I always forget to do that. I have to go and see if there's something screwed up in my settings or something set to read only so it always goes back. Let's approach the boat from the from the sea. You're a square one, so I, I'm participating. So I get to see it in the uh, the light of day here a little bit. Can I do this without uh, getting wet? No, you have to get wet. Come on. 
Yeah, I'm hitting F. I'm trying. I thought, how do you get in that? No, that's not the. Ah! Almost gonked myself. Come on, I gotta get up into this boat. Come on, how do you shift? Get me air. Why can't I climb this? I should be able to climb into my stinking boat. There's only one ladder working? Is that a thing? Yeah! Only one ladder works! Okay, that's kind of annoying. Now... Maybe up here on the captain's deck. Maybe that's an option when you're talking with the captain. Oh, captain, my captain! How do we modify a boat? See, is there a thing here? See, that's just to move your gun. No, I want to modify it. That's to move your yacht. How do you repaint your yacht? I'm glad I like it. Because, man, once you pick it, you're stuck. Doc, rock star. Seriously? There's no, there's not another place you can go here and tweak up the yacht. Okay, don't mind early morning me. We're gonna come back here. I just realized that the probably the best way to do this, if you really want to modify, it, you go back here. Yeah, go back here. Modify your super yacht. See? No problem. You can change anything you want. You want to change the lighting, the color. It's all money. Change the name if you didn't like it. It's perfect. You can do that. Okay, I was confused. I was thinking about it in terms of being an office or a vehicle. And what you really have to think of it is in terms of being one of the other properties. Just like, you know, just like the, the, uh, the MC Clubhouse or... Hey, you know, the bunker, you know, stuff, stuff like, actually the bunker isn't like that at all, so, no. But it's like, it's like the clubhouse, you have to go back and, and well, anyway, back to the, back to the story. Well, like I said, it's a good thing I like it. I do like to have the gold highlights, the, the black and red, and the black knight, after all. Black and red, really, I mean, you know, that's the scheme. There's nothing down here. You walk around. There's another place highlighted. That's to go in. There's nothing inside. I didn't see anything inside that would let you do it. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe something. I mean, it's like your, uh, your office. You go into the office, you get an option. You'll have the option on the M button here as we go in. Not that I want to change anything, but let's say just I felt like pink lighting for once, you know? If I go here, invite to yacht. No, we don't want to invite anybody. Terabyte services. Yacht services. Yacht defenses. Defense exclusions. Yacht vehicle access. Yacht access. No, there's just no, there seems to be no way of changing it. Once you buy a yacht, it's a yacht and there's nothing you can do about it. There's no little thingier and thingy and at the front of the bar to get drunk and change the color of the... Well, that's... That's just odd. Let's take a look at the view here. With all the snow. Monsieur? It's a beautiful view and it's not snowing. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little cumbersome getting out, but it's a yacht. It's supposed to be. It's a, a little bit cumbersome. Well, there you have it, folks. It's still snowing. 
I'm heading into the hot tub. We've got a dune. There may be some other purchases going on at some point. At some point, what I really would like to do is just, you know, get that one achievement, the the live a little achievement where you get eight million dollars spent on heist together. I think I already have. I mean, I've got a Hydra, I've got multiple insurgents. I've got, you know, the Karumas. I got, you know, I got at least two Karumas, armored Karumas, the expensive ones. I think I have a Savage. I mean, I realize I've been buying them all on sale, but I, mean, I should have hit eight million by now. Ah, well. Here we are. Chilling. Well, it's chilling outside, thanks to the modder. Now, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think... Hold on, let me check something. Yeah, I'm at the point where I really do have to get ready for work, unfortunately. And real life's going to intervene. I can't just chill in my luxury yacht. I guarantee you, while I'm at work, I'll be thinking about chilling in my luxury yacht. Let me think, well, this will even... Let's check our start loca spawn location here. Private yacht. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Money for nothing and your checks for free.